What is the relationship between stress and panic attacks? Stress and panic attacks are two mental health conditions that frequently affect the same individuals. Stress can cause changes in brain chemistry, which may make individuals susceptible to panic attacks, nutrition, stress reduction techniques, prescription medications, and psychotherapy can be used to treat those who suffer from stress and panic attacks. For people who are prone to panic attacks, various stressors may trigger a single attack or recurrent panic attacks. The stressor may be physical or mental, and can be caused by a traumatic life event, such as a divorce or death of a loved one, or by daily situations such as poor sleep, inadequate nutrition, workplace stress, and school anxiety. Long-term stress is usually more damaging than short-term stress. Stress of any sort may contribute to panic attacks in several ways. It may cause a release of the neurotransmitter known as adrenaline, which triggers the fight-or-flight response. If this occurs too frequently, the brain's ability to manage adrenaline may become damaged, and panic attacks may arise. Panic attacks can lead to agoraphobia, or a fear of open spaces. People who have had several panic attacks and who feel threatened by the possibility of more attacks may develop panic disorder, which is a chronic condition. Long term, ongoing stress may affect the balance between the brain's neurotransmitters that calm the nervous system and those that excite it. Stress can exhaust supplies of two critical calming neurotransmitters. These two neurotransmitters are serotonin and GABA. Low levels of calming neurotransmitters may cause a person to feel anxious. Stress can also cause levels of magnesium, vitamin C, and tryptophan to diminish. Adequate levels of these nutrients are important in helping the body cope with the effects of stress. Subsequently, increasing consumption of these nutrients may reduce the frequency or intensity of panic attack episodes. Prescription medications may be used to treat people who are susceptible to stress and panic attacks. Medications that are used to treat stress include some of the antidepressants in the serotonin selective reuptake inhibitor, SSRI, family. These encourage higher levels of serotonin, and in turn work as anti-anxiety treatments as well as depression treatments. Psychotherapy, especially cognitive behavioral therapy, is often very effective in treating stress and panic attacks. This treatment may be paired with medications to increase its effectiveness. In addition to psychotherapy and medications, stress management techniques can be important in improving treatment outcomes for this anxiety disorder. Some of the stress management techniques that may reduce stress include deep breathing, yoga, and other exercise. Caffeine may trigger feelings of anxiety and stress. Consequently, panic attack sufferers may wish reduce or quit the use of beverages and foods containing caffeine, such as coffee and chocolate. A well-balanced and healthy diet may also assist with reducing the severity and frequency of stress and panic attacks. Visit the website. Click below. Stress and panic attacks. Visit the website. Click below. What are sleep panic attacks? A sleep panic attack is a frightening situation in which a person experiences a rapid heartbeat, a feeling of confusion, anxiety, or intense fear, and sometimes nausea while asleep or shortly after waking. Though it's not entirely clear what causes people to feel like this, it's likely connected to anxiety disorder. Several other medical conditions may be associated with night panics as well, including sleep apnea. Generally speaking, this disorder is treatable with a combination of self-care and medication. Types Sleep panic attacks typically take one of two forms, both of which can be very frightening. In the first type, a person wakes up feeling like he or she is about to have a panic attack, or is already in the middle of one. The person's heart will be beating very fast, and he or she may feel confused, disoriented, anxious, and disconnected from reality. The other type happens when a person begins to consciously experience a panic attack while he or she is still asleep. This may have similar symptoms to a waking panic attack, or it may be accompanied by other symptoms like tooth grinding, head pain and a feeling of pressure in the ears. In most cases, the person may not be aware of being asleep during the event, or may feel that he or she is struggling to wake up. Possible causes The exact cause of sleep panic attacks isn't well understood, since they're much more common in people with anxiety disorder than others. However, they're thought to be connected to that condition. 
Another theory is that a fear response is triggered as a result of increased levels of carbon dioxide. This is most common in people who have a tendency to hyperventilate. The increase in carbon dioxide can cause a sensation of suffocating, which can lead to anxiety. Other possible medical causes are sleep apnea, heartburn, and myoclonic twitches. Those with sleep apnea have trouble breathing while asleep, which can lead to a feeling of suffocation and fear. Likewise, a person with severe heartburn might get the feeling that he or she is having a heart attack, which can be very frightening. Additionally, some people get scared when they have myoclonic twitches, which are sudden muscle jerks that happen when someone falls asleep. These can sometimes feel like electric shocks or a sensation of falling, which can trigger a panic attack. Another possibility is that a fight or flight response happens during changes in the sleep cycle. Nocturnal panic attacks typically occur during the second stage of the cycle, right before deep sleep. This leads researchers to believe that this disorder is not connected to dreams, since they appear in the last stage, rapid eye movement, REM, sleep. A frightening dream might cause a person to have an attack after he or she wakes up though. Treatment. Treatment for this condition varies depending on other symptoms present. For many people, a combination of medication and self-care can help reduce the frequency of the attacks, and make them easier to cope with when they do occur. Common self-care techniques include understanding what a panic attack is and recognizing the symptoms so that the event won't be quite as traumatic, doing calming activities like Tai Chi or meditation, breath control, and getting into a regular sleep schedule, since people without one tend to have more panic attacks. Anti-anxiety medication, antidepressants, or tranquilizers may be prescribed depending on the situation, as well as the severity and frequency of the episodes. Psychotherapy is sometimes beneficial as well. Prevalence. Between 50% and 70% of people who have anxiety disorder will also experience one or more sleep panic attacks. People who regularly experience this problem are also more likely to experience other sleep disturbances, including insomnia and restless sleep. Visit the website, click below. Disturbances, including insomnia and restless sleep. Visit the website, click below. What is the connection between caffeine and panic attacks? The effects of caffeine and panic attacks are closely related. This is because, as a stimulant, caffeine increases individual anxiety levels, which may lead to panic attacks. Caffeine also prevents or seriously interferes with rejuvenating sleep. Individuals under inordinate stress, who feel anxious and who are not sleeping properly are more prone to have panic attacks, for these reasons. Many believe that there is a causative relationship between caffeine and panic attacks. Panic attacks tend to occur spontaneously in people who routinely experience times of anxiety and exaggerated fear. These attacks are not due to an external threat, but rather to an uncontrolled mental state that produces extreme panic. The side effects of caffeine and panic attacks are very similar and doctors who treat anxiety disorders recommend that individuals who are prone to panic attacks strictly avoid caffeine. Symptoms of panic attacks can be wide-ranging, from an increased pulse and heart rate and uncontrollable shaking to a fear of dying as the result of a heart attack while in the midst of panic attack. Other symptoms include a loss of concentration, an inability to calm down, chest pain, dizziness, loss of sleep, and rapid breathing. People who experience a panic attack are not faced with actual circumstances warranting this reaction but a loss of focus and control in conjunction with mounting symptoms that will not allow individuals experiencing an attack to view their surroundings realistically, while some people experience only a single panic attack during a lifetime, others experience them so often that they develop a fear of future panic attacks, this then triggers the onset of an attack and locks the person in a cycle of anxiety that can only be relieved by medication and therapy. Scientists who study caffeine and panic attacks have discovered that even mild use of the stimulant can increase these symptoms. Most people can consume caffeine and feel very few adverse symptoms, while many intentionally use it to stay awake and increase brain alertness. The side effects of caffeine can have a devastating effect on someone with an existing panic disorder. Caffeine and panic attacks sometimes also share overlapping symptoms. Some of the side effects of caffeine include a rapid heart rate anxiety, tremors and restlessness. Each of these can lead a person with an anxiety disorder towards panic. 
Caffeine and panic attacks are not the only cause for concern. Caffeine and depression are also closely related. This is due to caffeine increasing insulin levels several hours after entering the bloodstream and decreasing blood glucose levels which then suppresses a person's mood. Caffeine and panic attacks are also related because caffeine creates a chemical imbalance in the brain. Specifically, it interferes with adenosine, which is a chemical that helps keep the body calm. When this imbalance is present, a person prone to panic attacks is even more vulnerable to having one. Visit the website. Click below. Bull to having one. Visit the website. Click below. I hope you enjoyed our review. If you would like to order this product or see further details, then simply head over to the website address you see on the screen right now.